All Avatar Legends titles, logos, or characters featured in this video are used courtesy of Nickelodeon and Viacom International Inc. All rights to these materials are reserved, and none of the presented materials should be construed as a canonical addition to the Avatarverse. Water. The Avatar can master all four elements, but this is not a story about the Avatar. Avatar Legends, a game for spirits. Hello and welcome everybody uh, to a game of spirits, uh, or game for spirits. I named it, I should remember. <laughs> Before we go into introductions for everybody, I wanna ground us in the setting. We're in an era far from Aang, from Korra, closer to the first Avatar, Avatar Wan. Harmonic convergence came and went. Vatu, the spirit of chaos and disorder, was sealed away within the tree of time, and the spirits themselves abandoned the human world to return to their own realms. Humanity itself left the lion turtles with the gift of bending, taking it out into the world to make it their own. We are several generations away from this. Some people have forgotten about what Juan did for the world. Some people whisper myths and stories about a mysterious bender that can use all four elements. Some say he's called the Avatar. Some say she's a spirit wearing a human's body. Some say it's both spirit and human. None know for sure. But in our era, where our heroes are all about to meet, they've all been called to a very specific meeting by people in their own lives that came to them in a time of need and told them exactly what they needed to hear. That what they'd been looking for their entire lives wouldn't be found where they were. It'd be found on the road and at a destination far from here. So, my name is Petra Skelton, <laughs> and we are playing Avatar Legends from Magpie Games. Um, it looks incredible, um, it plays really fun too, and we're even doing a giveaway. So, that's a thing, wonderful thing you can win. This book is gorgeous, full color art, uh, the rules are really clear and concise, it's very much a Powered by the Apocalypse game. And just through and through, I would thoroughly recommend this game. It's dynamic, beautiful. You can do so much with it. Um, I would like to acknowledge that we are on the unceded territory of the Musqueam people, and that tomorrow is National Indigenous Peoples Day. And it's stolen land. In While we're playing a game about the indigenous nations of this world, these peoples who live in this land, I want to acknowledge that, like, stolen land, no argument there. Cool. I'm Petra Skelton, she, they. I'm gonna pass it over. We're gonna go in sequence. So starting with Cheyenne. Hi, I'm Cheyenne Rouleau. I use she, they pronouns. I'm playing I'm a, uh, an airbender. Hi, I'm Chris Murdoch. I use he, him pronouns, and I am playing Denpo, a waterbender. Hi, uh, Trevor Gemma, uh, he, him pronouns. I am Adon. I am a firebender. Hello, uh, my name is Alan. Uh, I use he, him, and I am playing Khan Dai Li, earthbender. Huh, quite an auspicious name. First Dai Li? Well, Son of Yong Dai Li, of course. <clears throat> ah, the Eternal Mountain. Okay. So, 
Let's start off. I need everybody who's been traveling along this long road from their home. I want each of you to roll one die for me and tell me what you get. Let's go. Oh, it's cut. Two. No. Five. Five. One. One. <coughs> Four. Wow, that five. worked. Oh, five. Wait, two of you got just five, right? Just you two got five. Yes. Perfect. Yep. You got one, oh, one. you got two. This worked out perfect. Also, I should acknowledge, because I forgot to acknowledge this, all of the art assets that we're using that are wonderful and beautiful are used in, with permission from both Viacom International and Magpie Games themselves. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Uh, it looks it, so pretty. It has made this game, like, elevated it a lot. The beautiful board in front of us was also built by uh, the wonderful team here at Questline, uh, both the Pi Show board and this DM screen, which I'm losing my mind over a little bit. Yeah, it gets cooler every time you look at it. Every single time, it's all four nations represented. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm a huge fan of everybody and all the work they do here. And I just specifically want to thank Tim and Chelsea. You realize such a vision here. Thank you so much. Woo! Also, I would also like to acknowledge Casey our DJ for the night. DJ Born of Christ! Casey and I worked very hard together to make the soundtrack for this game. Casey brought such, such energy, like such a good mind. It was incredible to work with. Very excited. We'll see. So, <laughs> starting with you two. You two are going to arrive at the same time. Not from the same, on the same road. You weren't just walking next to each other perfectly silent the whole time. You came from different directions, but you, Khan, are walking along this sandy road. It passes through what are effectively massively mountainous lands. This area, for anybody that's curious, would later be turned into a city and ray and ruled by King Bumi. That's mm. several, several hundred years away from this. Walking along the sand with it shifting under your feet, the ground feels uncertain. How does Khan feel? Um, the sand, the shifting sand is a little bit like foreign to Khan. Mm. I think, um, like solid earth being from the 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 mountains is what he relates to a little bit more so this this like shifting sand while it feels familiar in the way that earth and rock and stone do it's also reflective of the uncertainty within him but but he but he knows that walking this path he knows he's gonna find what he's after. Right. What does Khan Dai Li look like? How has he decided to present himself to the world today? So, uh, Khan Dai Li is uh, 17, so he's uh, still young. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you. Uh, 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 fresh faced, although uh, he takes a great amount of pride in like the little bit of facial hair that uh, that he has compared to other young men his age. Um, <laughs> he's like, mm, even my hair is better than yours. Um, <laughs> uh, he, um, uh, he, um, he is walking um, with, um, kind of with uh, hands uh, wrapped, okay. uh, uh, hiding, um, uh, Burn scars that are kind of peeking through, but 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 otherwise he walks with a a confident stride, his head held high. Okay. Moving from you for just a moment to Denpo. You are traveling along a slightly craggly road. It it's not. It looks like rock was pulverized here recently. It, uh, like somebody, almost as if several hours earlier, some, an earthbender was going around going, pa 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 to like pound it down. Um, 
how is Denpo feeling in this moment, walking along this fresh and new road? It seems almost like it was made for you. Denpo is kind of grumpy and I, head down. <clears throat> Doesn't really register that 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 fact that the road is sort of new. He's he's clocked it, but he's mostly just kicking random stones. Okay. Hands in his pockets, head down, kicking random stones. He's doesn't really know why he's where he is mm. yet. And uh, he's a little upset that it's not where he thought he was gonna be. Okay, cool. So what does Denpo look like right now? Uh, he's short, he's 13. Uh, He's got a leafy hat. He's got vines wrapped around his arms, and you notice that they actually go up the back of his arms to a little backpack. Oh, and the nice. backpack has a little like sprouty plant growing out of it, and what looks like a water reservoir hanging underneath. Nice. Uh, he's got blue clothing with green trim, uh, with some sort of like dyed geometric blocks in certain spots. Okay, that's yeah. awesome. Cool. Uh, if you can't tell, I'm a big fan of everybody's costumes here because they look incredible. Um, both Ash and Murdoch made incredible costumes for everybody here, and it's wonderful. We were I, so stoked to make costumes. <laughs> I, we were so stoked. I got to feel slightly goofy being like, what do you look like? You could just gesture yourself and go, like, um, come um, on. Hello. But, <laughs> for the medium. For the culture. <laughs> okay. For those who are just listening. Yeah, exactly. For those of you listening on radio. Yeah. 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 We're not seeing the screen. That's Treating it as a podcast. Yeah. yeah. So now we're going to go to you two at the same time. You two both arrive at this place and you find, it's funny, that thing about like the road felt like it was done recently. That's only done, like, that comes full circle when you reach the clearing. And you know when earthbenders build platforms? Like, they do the full, like, step and then raise a platform up? So this is the smoothest marble you've ever seen. There is a floor. There's, there's a platform, like a stage. There are plinths set up, like, risen out of the ground. And there are tons of people. Not, not enough to like be intimidating, but enough to be a crowd. They're all kind of talking amongst each other and most curious enough, they all seem like they're from different walks of life. You, from your background, you're not familiar. It, you're not used to seeing people, benders of different nations, kind of spending time with each other. Everybody kind of distrusts one another because despite what Avatar 1 tried to do, peace hasn't reigned. Wars, battles, land squabbles, everything you can possibly imagine it to cause conflict, yeah, it's happened. <laughs> so this is weird. Do you move to join the crowd or just stay kind of at the outskirts? Um. I, uh, what, it, it, what, if anything, is happening on the stage itself? There's nobody on the stage currently. Okay. Then I will, uh, I will wait outside of okay. the... Yeah. Den Den Denpo's cruising the outskirts, but he's, you know, like, lurking like an awkward teenager does. Cool. He wants to know what's happening, but he's not getting in there yet. <laughs> cool. If either of you want to assess the situation, you can when I get back to you. Um, but otherwise, we're going to go to Aimee. Mm -hmm. Aimee, so you've been traveling probably the least amount of distance, just over the most difficult terrain in comparison to other people. There is no road you've traveled down. You've been traveling through forest. You've been traveling through undergrowth and overgrowth for days. <laughs> I imagine Aime didn't take a change of clothes. Aime has only what? What she's wearing, she doesn't even have shoes. Okay. This, I'd say about three, four days into your journey. How is Aime feeling? 
she is feeling all of the um, adrenaline that she had three or four days ago when she started this journey is starting to wane. Mm. And it's uh, she's starting to almost disassociate with her surroundings. She's very dehydrated. She's very hungry. She's also seeing all these things for the first time and dealing with things for the first, like she's never encountered all of this terrain. Um, so she's a little bit blank mm. and in that kind of survival mode that you only get to when you're when you're that low. Yeah. What does she look like? She's 14. Yep. She's small. She's uh, a little malnourished bald head, um, a little bit of freckles. She's wearing a very, um, like her clothing is, uh, she makes no sound when she moves. Mm, okay. Everything on her is very, very minimal. Yep. Um, and she has no possessions with her. Okay. Uh, so just a very stark, blank little kid. Okay, so you continue to travel through. We'll go to, actually, no, you'll reach now. So you walking, pushing through this forest and then you hear voices. And if you move a little closer, you see a clearing. You see more people than you've, more of a variety of people than you've probably ever seen before. You see firebenders, you see people carrying weapons, you see just, yeah, most, like as you get to that point and are kind of peering out, I'm assuming, you see a someone wearing a leaf hat kind of walk past you, not notice you at this point. Because I assume you have no reason to be like, while you're trying to look at the crowd, you're not also looking behind you, yeah? Cool, so yeah, you're just, you see all of this. Mm -hmm. um, what does Ime do? She first is like that, that adrenaline anxiety comes back, but she can feel it weigh on her body in a way that hasn't happened, that it feels dangerous. And so her mind sort of clears of the chaos of what she's seeing with all the new stimuli and just zones in on, do people have water? Do people have food? Mm. Targets, targets, targets. Anybody carrying a water sack? Anybody carrying any food? <clears throat> That's all she can see. Okay, so this is going to be a perfect opportunity to do and assess the situation, so we'll get to that in just a Great. moment. Getting to you. So, Adon. Yeah. The road you've been traveling along is also freshly made. You see, there was this, you were walking for a while and you couldn't catch up to them, but there was someone ahead of you that was wearing like blue and green clothes that you've never seen before. It, it, it was Denpo. Okay. But it was one of those things, if you've ever gone for a hike and like, as soon as you reach a straightaway, they turn a corner. Oh, oh God, I hate that. And like, <laughs> so it's just like, yeah. Uh, and every time you speed up, they clearly speed up. What the hell? Yeah, so uh, you've, you've been walking for a while. It's been frustrating. Yeah but you've been on a similar road. It seems like it's fresh made. So am I walking or am I riding? You might be riding because okay. with you, you have an elephant mandrel. This is true. Okay. That I am bonded with named Orla. Orla. How big is Orla? Uh, Orla is a mandrel that is roughly the size of an elephant. Cool. That's my nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. She's oh. really sweet unless you piss me off. <laughs> um, She's protective. So yeah, I imagine, yeah, then you're riding. So you're riding, walking down, uh, and Orla, when you get, you're close, but not to the point where you're hearing anything, but at one point Orla just perks up, like does a trill, and like. What is it, girl? And just start shooting off forward. <laughs> oh, yeah, I'm just gonna. And cling on to her fur because okay. I don't have a saddle or anything. I'm just on her bare back, furry back. Y you realize why <laughs> once you basically reach the clearing and see the gathering of people. Um, I'm going to get you to roll to assess the situation, but before that, yeah. 
Having traveled this road, having been, luckily, with a steed, nobody else came with a steed. <laughs> how how is Adon feeling? Over. Uh, I mean, prior to that, uh, Adon was uh, uh, chilling, eating uh, some sort of, what kind of uh, vegetable would be commonly found in the, the area near here? So, no cabbages yet. Um, like a pepper or uh, maybe a fruit. <laughs> we, uh, there would be mangoes hanging. <gasps> there's like fresh Sick. mangoes hanging. Um, there's some, like, if you were underground or an earthbender, you would know that there's gemmite in this area, which is actually rock candy. Gemmite? It's a crystal. <laughs> Um, <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yes, you got there. You got there. Oh my god. I'm gonna play an earthbender named that. I Puns. wanted to be an earthbender. Puns. No. <laughs> <laughs> uh, uh, oh, I forgot to mention, and this is a perfect segue. We'll go into it. So, there are some redemptions that you will notice in chat. They've probably already been called out. We are going to have options to restore people's uh, fatigue which are, could be really useful. You just have to indicate which character you want to do it for and you'll fill up their fatigue for 500 bits. Um, we also have a really exciting option. For 10 subs, you'll get the opportunity to shift balance for one player. This is a really big move because shifting balance, well, if you've watched Avatar, think of when Zuko did one too many nice things and got a fever and had a real bad time. Or think of Azula. I guess that's just the yeah, sentence. Yeah, yeah. Uh, <laughs> particularly when she finally got everything she wanted. Exactly, yes. and how that didn't work. And finally, the last thing you can redeem for is a cameo. There were very, so many established background characters in the Avatarverse, I thought it would be worthwhile to give the audience an opportunity to bring them in. So you'll be able to do that as well. If I can get all of you to roll to assess the situation, that'd be great. Tell me what you get. Oh, I gotta do both. Oh, wait, sorry, that's two dice. Right? Two dice. Two dice. Full roll. Oh. Both dice. Yeah, and I like. I like to hear it. I like to hear it. Yeah. <laughs> Eight. 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 And sorry, assess is and with. It's with creativity. 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 Yeah. Yes. And just this is the first and only roll where I will tell you to roll. From now on, from this point forward, you will tell me when you want to roll, oh. when you want to do a move. Okay. That onus is on you. I have my own moves, you have yours. Evils of turn. Yes. <laughs> I don't know what to do with this power. Part of the power of the Power by the Apocalypse system is this ability to affect the story. You choose when rolls are necessary. I'll make suggestions. That's what I'm here for. So, everybody, we're gonna go in the sequence you arrived. So, starting with Khan. Uh, I rolled a six. Cool, that is a failure. <laughs> um, so, you, I imagine, are kind of like really wrapped up in your own stuff right now? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah, so I'm like, it's like when you're waiting on the edge of a crowd at a music festival, but the person you're here to watch isn't on yet. So in the meantime, I'm just like, do I look cool enough? <laughs> So nobody is really paying attention to you, and that's probably getting to you a little bit. Yeah, I hate that. Like, nobody has, like, looked over and gone, it's Khan Dai yeah. Li! It's like, th there's, there's like, a part of me, there's so much of me that's holding back from, from saying, do you know who my father is? You're like a, you're like a Jenner at a, what's that big festival? <laughs> at a Coachella. Coachella, yeah. Coachella, okay. exactly. Look at me. <laughs> Denpo. I uh, I rolled a seven, so plus, uh, so I got an eight. Outstanding. So you got yeah. to ask me a question. Ooh. So. Uh, yeah, my questions are here. Yeah, it's what what here can I use to blank? Who or what is the biggest threat? Who sh what should I be on the lookout for? What's my best way out in through? Who or what is in the greatest danger? Um, you can also ask another one if you want to. I'd We're like not to say. ask what should I be on the lookout for? Cool. So. You think that like you realize they aren't just all kids. It's not all just people your age. There are some grownups here. Um, when you're like, what, what should I be on the lookout for? You start noticing there are some like masters here. Like people that are 
genuine benders. Um, you see that there is a firebender that's standing there that has his arms are wrapped and he's got a gorget that goes over his mouth. Cool. And just standing there and has, oh, and he has a chain that wraps around his midsection. He's talking to a number of different people. Very quietly though. It's really hard to hear behind that. <laughs> <laughs> Nobody seems to be straining to hear though. You notice that there, I'll give you one other master. There is a, a uh, waterbending master who seems to be from the, what tribe are you from? Uh, the Southern Isles. Cool, so this is would be Northern then. Okay. Um, you notice that their styles are very different than yours, but they've done like wonderful things with the leathers that they're wearing. And it, it almost, like they've made these beautiful patterns into them um, that look like they were all hand done. Beautifully so. They've got some bones that have been turned into earrings in some of their ears. I rolled a six. You rolled a six? Hey, what up? You're having a bad time. Yeah, I think she, I think it's, uh, if I may, if I may. <laughs> <laughs> you may! You just punched your own name. Catch oh, I may? Wow. Someone. Yeah. Wow. Cool. Uh, the catch uh, right there. Yeah. I feel wow. like uh, that that thing that happens when you're um, so dehydrated, where like you can't even make discernible shapes of people. It's just oh. like oh. A, mm. a blob, yeah. and so maybe maybe she's just kind of stumbling out, like just trying really hard to focus and just kind of like I don't know. I'll give you a trigger for it too. Yeah. You smell food. Oh. And so you're like, I imagine that alone is like, okay, please help. <laughs> Yeah, she looks like, like one of those like possessed children in a horror movie, just like kind of like standing there on the outskirts, like. Ah. We'll get to who sees Ime first. <laughs> it's gonna be a fun time. So thirteen. Thirteen. Hey. So That's how. I feel like you see Incredible. everything first with that roll. <laughs> it's the vantage so, for being on top. Avatar of Avatar state yeah. over here. Yeah. Yeah. So you can uh, ask two of these questions. Yes. And when following up on any of them, you get plus one. Nice. So oh, sick. Okay. yeah. Cool. cool, cool. Uh, okay, so I would like to assess who or what is the biggest threat. <laughs> okay. And uh, what is my best way out, in, or through this place? <laughs> okay, so your best way in or out or through, so uh, would be back the way you came. Easy, but there are also, you notice so many roads that lead to this place. Oh, okay. Um, like you look to your left, there's a road. Look to your right, there's a road. Look to further right, there's another road. Like uh. clearly all the, this explains how all these people are here without them passing you, right? Biggest uh. threat. I have a question for your character. Do you identify, what do you identify as a threat? Mm. Ooh, uh, currently someone who would recognize me. Cool, so you, <laughs> you, finally get to realize Kondai Lee's dream because somebody here recognizes him and it's you. Oh! <laughs> uh, I'm gonna yank re like harder than I should on Orla's fur. Okay, cool. And I'm gonna go doo -doo, and I'm gonna pull her to one side and then I'm going to simultaneously leap from the side and hang on to the opposite side so he can't see. So I'm gonna inflict a GM move on you. Okay. I'm gonna inflict a condition. You are now stunned. You know why? Because I'm I that mean, I think I do, yeah. <laughs> Not only is it because you're like, oh, but you go to do enough things at once that Orla gets confused Still smells the food and takes off while you're like trying to side saddle, <laughs> and, like, and you just fall. Oh. And so you're like, you're now lying on your side, staring at Kondai Lee, who you very much see him. Some undercoat in your hand because <laughs> you yanked too hard. And a bunch of people are like, whoa. Um, you, during this moment, uh, we'll, we'll let you two react to each other first. Huh. Oh. Oh. Hey, uh, fancy meeting you here. I like take a step, like if I'm if I'm standing um, like flat-footed, I widen my st st stance a bit and just like 
shake my hands. No, 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 no. I don't want to fight. Oh, we already did that. I don't want to fight. I'm not here for you. Too bad for you that you don't want to fight. Because we got a score to settle your jump. Before anything more can happen here, we're going to pause that for a moment go to you guys because as where you're standing a very emaciated <laughs> very dehydrated very bald very bald <laughs> child walks in front of you just uh, uh. <laughs> <laughs> now you've seen people in this state before they need help uh, Dempo's gonna offer her some water. He's just gonna bend it out of his little backpack and go, you need some of this. Ah, and I just- floating through the air. I just like, like dive my face into it. I don't even look at him. <laughs> I just see the water. I'm like, <gasps> and I just start drinking the water. Okay, yeah. cool, cool, cool. Yeah. So half of it goes into the air and I'm kind of gonna bend it back. <laughs> okay. Chill out. Talk. Wow, okay, okay. Wow, wow. What was this thing? Yeah. As that's happening, someone kind of comes up to you, the uh, water bending master from before, and they go, go get some food. Me? Both of you. Yes. Yeah. Okay. And they go back. And basically you're led to, like you notice that the people that are gathered together, each, each little huddle is gathered around like a spit. It's got meat, veggies, whatever, cooking. So nobody stops you if you go for food. Amazing. As that's happening, you two are about to square off. Uh, I mean, a score? I mean, we had a contest and I mean, I kind of won, but uh. Oh. Yeah, man, I, look, I, my dad made me do that. I didn't want to have to do it. I, I, look, do we, I don't. I, I kind of, I take a look around you. I say, there's a lot of people here and none of them look like your dad. <laughs> Except, I mean, that guy kind of does. But I'm pretty sure that's not him. Who are you looking at? Uh, the the ma master and the g g g <laughs> gorget. Yeah, the one that's walking towards you? Yeah. Yeah, cool. Uh, <clears throat> kind of like looks at both of you. Help him up. Don't mind if I do. Thank you. What kind of food? I just like, like 80s bully like push past you. Around a mouth of steam bun, I'm like. <laughs> so foods from all different cultures are represented here. It seems like everybody brought a little something. So if anybody has any kind of supplies or food with them, you can easily add it to the spit. It's dumplings. The answer is dumplings. Shao Long Bao, let's go. Okay. So funnily enough, because I'm the GM and I've decided this is a fact, you all end up around the same spit. Whoa! <laughs> Who could imagine? Uh, I'll uh, uh, take a bag and just I gather a few mangoes. So I'm just gonna add them to stuff so that I can grab something meaty. I'm just okay. grabbing without any uh, sense of politeness, uh, any uh, like sense of state. I'm just grabbing, you grab my mangoes, I'm like, right, I'm just eating a mango. Really, oh, I got, some, I got some pork in my mouth, I got a bun. At people's plates that they've left for like a second, I'm like, great. Like I just take, I'm just eating so much food and like almost weeping. <laughs> cool. Um, I'm gonna inflict uh, two fatigue on you. Okay. Um, we're gonna say that this is just because Oh, that food's so good. It's really good, <laughs> but you are just overloading yourself with all this. Because yeah. you're gonna nap later. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah. So yeah, all of you are gathered together. Uh, I'm, I'm t taking up my f food in a way that's that's like like anything handheld. Like if if anything requires like uh, uh, like chopsticks, I t take it with my hand instead because my hands don't have the articulation to use chopsticks again yet. Hmm. Where did Orla go? <laughs> so Orla is at another spit that everybody else has cleared out from and is just... 
<laughs> Doesn't make you look the best. Uh, you can uh, relieve stunned at this point, obviously. You're good. Oh, yeah, sweet. Um, but yeah, you are trapped by nothing but social convention right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All of you, as you're reading, I imagine, do any of you talk to each other? Oh yeah. No. No? Hey, he's, fold, he's folded a leaf into a bowl and it's just like in it. She's in a food coma. Uh, oh. ah. I'm just gonna Why? like sidestep ah. over away from him toward Dempo. Hi. Hey. Uh, that's a really cool hat. Oh, thank you. Where'd you, uh, did you buy that? Did you make it? Uh, we just have, um, we just have him around. Oh, just, just who's we? Where are you from? I'm this. I'm from the uh, islands. Oh, the this, this southern islands. Cool. He's not super excited about sharing it, and is kind of like still in there, but he's like not being rude about it. You know. Okay. Why did you? Why did you come here? It's uh, oh man, this is a long story. Huh? I uh. So there's a thing where I'm from, where you. What's his thing? My thing is right now is paying attention. He's a bit of a dick. Cause you look scary. Thank you. He's not. Anyways, there's a thing in my culture where you go and you spend time away from home. And I got sent here and I don't know why. So that's why I'm here. That's so cool. So I'm gonna fit. You get well, What's your name? Me? I'm Adon. Hi. 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 I'm Dempo. He goes back. She keeps eating. What's her thing? She's thirsty. Um, have you um have you seen someone that looks like me? No. So it's funny you actually ask that. Because neck between you two is a airbender. It looks about 13, around your age. And they're, they just like, they've just been, you know when like a little kid walks up to you and you suddenly realize they're there? <laughs> you don't know how long they've been standing there, but yeah. they're like, There's this, they just kind of standing there and just like looking at all of you, but they're like, arms are around their, like holding themselves a little bit and they're just short uh, black hair. It's kind of tight to their scalp. Um, sides are shaved. And the dress is about as simply as I may is. Do you mean uh, this kid? Uh. Is you hi? Uh, no, I, I don't, I don't, I don't know that one. I'm looking at. She's a little taller. I've never seen anyone looks like you before. No. Uh. -huh. So, that one's not the one that that you're tr trying to find. Get out of here. Whoa, why? Hi. Okay. No, you Bye. can stay. It's okay. 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 Um, I'm I'm sorry. What's I, your problem? I'm, I could, could I could I take some of the food? Yeah. You had a mango? Uh, sure. Yeah. They're uh, so good. And takes a bite. Is like, you know, when a kid smiles and their smile is like really infectious. It's a little bit of that. Like they bite and they like they get a little bit of a mess on themselves and they laugh about it. And then, yeah, you're just comfortable just standing there. Good, right? Yeah. Can, yeah. I, can I have one of those mangoes? Yeah. And he just goes, and then grabs it with a little vine. Oh, you're Thanks, a waterbender. I'm kind of, I'm a little bit better with the like, finies and the weapons and the things, but it's, yeah, I know how to waterbend. Cool. Yeah. Again, he's weirdly like, kind of evasive about it. The airbender makes their way over to you while these two are talking. And basically, like, they seem like they're trying to say something, and they, they go. The other, the rest of you don't hear this because you're in your conversation. They go, I, I'm, I'm sorry about Shiso. Where is, where is she? I thought she would be with and they as they're going to answer they kind of like flinch 
and go, sorry, and leave. I, I'm gonna air bend and stop them. <laughs> so, so you're like trying to turn them? Yeah. Okay. Um, this could be a move, but you know what? We're gonna say it's not. So you, unless you're like literally trying to like arrest them. No, arrest just them? stop them from leaving. Okay. And they, they look back at you like hesitating for a second. like, And then you hear from the stage, someone steps on top of the stage and you realize it's an airbender. It's about in their forties. Hair is shaved, shorn. And they've got the arrow along their head and along their arms. They've got a couple ornaments of their station on them, but they're very simple. You recognize this person. Is that who you're looking for? As Monk Nanda. And they say, thank you everyone for coming today. I, I know that you all came from many different directions. And I know that you all are probably very confused as to what led you here. Eco, on stage. And that little airbender hmm. ends up on stage. It's no mystery that the nations, the peoples, that li live on these lands are divided. More, now more than ever before, we need unity. And they step to the side and say, Eco, introduce yourself. And Eco, looking as uncomfortable as before, before they introduce themselves to you, steps to the front stage and goes, um, hi, and their master like <sighs> straightens up and they immediately do the same. Um, hi, uh, my name's Eco. <sighs> no, who are you? Uh, I'm the avatar? <laughs> All of you. No mixed thing. So we're gonna go around. What does everybody think of what the avatar is? Starting with Khan. Um, everything I heard about the avatar is about the power that the avatar has. Uh, so I imagined uh, in my head what someone of power looks like. And then I imagined me beating them up and standing over them like, I'm more powerful. Uh, and now I see that this uh, uh, would be easy, and now I don't want to anymore. Okay. Uh, I'm stunned because I think, like, in my town, the Avatar is spoken of as, like, like my lineage is the only people in my town that can even bend. Mm. So it's yeah. so to the the fact that there's someone who could do. We think that it's more a spirit inhabiting a body, mm. and don't think it's real. Right. So to hear it is just like monster, like horrified. Uh, cool. Okay. Genpo. Guys, I don't know what you're talking about, but the Avatar is just a kid story like about a glowing person who can bend a bunch of stuff. But we all know it's just swamp gas. What's wrong with you? Oh man, it's spirits that have, they're, it's not good. It's spirits that are like inhabiting like a skin sack. I may. Um, what I've been told since I was five was the avatar was a deity that was going to ascend into my leader's body and that he would become the next avatar. And so, uh, this this is wrong. Mm. This is this is wrong. This is not right. Okay. As all of you have your, you're all wondering. 
the eco realizing that there is a variety of reactions. You see that all the people around you are also going through just a, a wide range. Uh, eco kind of moves through a couple simple forms and you notice that with air, they struggle the most. <laughs> um, they have a little jet of fire comes out of one hand. <gasps> they manage to lift a part of the plinth uh, you start to realize that as they're doing this, clearly this stage was set up to make this show a little easier. Um, so they lift one of those. They pull some water out of a container near one of the spits and bend that in the air. And then they just kind of stand there. When they do the air thing, you know the, the like little trick Ang does? Yeah. With the beads? That, <laughs> like, it's lamer than that <laughs> what they do with air. Like, we're talking, like, a little, like, they, they like, kind of squint and, like, like, they're trying to force it. They're, like, and, like, a little ball goes in their hand and then it's gone. Huh. And they're, like, they're gonna lean to Adon and be, like, I saw a show like this on Ember Island. It was awful. Is there somewhere else doing the bending? Yeah, I think so. I mean, if they are, they're bad at bending too. Yeah. The master steps forward again and goes, as you can see, Eco is still very early on in their journey. They have their other masters and they nod to the other masters that you've seen in the crowd. The waterbender from the Northern peoples the firebender with the odd gorget. Curiously missing is an earthbender. Someone's not made it themselves. <laughs> You'd be like, I'm gonna teach you, kid. Um, and then we're both gonna take you down. <laughs> and take more than one. The master goes, The world needs preparations. This isn't a secret. These roads that you traveled here on are all new. The reason why one of the masters is currently missing, not here, because they're busy doing the work. What work? Connecting the peoples, bringing peace. Making the roads, I think. Making the roads is only the beginning. Okay. <laughs> they raise their eyebrows higher and higher to see if you <laughs> get that they're, yes, they're looking at you, go. How does making roads between people fighting each other bring peace? It doesn't. But as a beginning, as a starting point, allowing people to travel more freely from place to place, to see other lands will help them. The other thing that might help them is you, all of you. It's no secret the Avatar is only one person. The Avatar needs capable benders and non-benders alike to help them make this world into a more peaceful place. So, and you notice that as they're talking, some people have kind of like, don't really believe it. And are stepping back and it's clearly already making like preparations to leave and stuff. And to that, the master looks at all of them and says, you're free to leave. It won't stop the work, just as it wouldn't have stopped the work if none of you came. But I'm asking all of you, wouldn't you like to see something better than what we have now? Something that fits that befits what we used to have before. Uh, 
Those of you that agree, please remain. The rest of you, I hope you enjoyed the food and may your journey and further travels go smoothly. And you notice that a number of people like do gather stuff up and they do leave. What about all of you? So, I don't know about you guys, but someone I care about a lot told me to come here, and I didn't know exactly what to expect, and it seems weird that this would have been what they sent me for. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't understand why she so send me here. I thought this was just, she was just gonna meet me here. And they, they know, I, I don't know why she's not here and I don't know why she would send me here. Are you in danger? Um, uh, no, it's fine. I just, I wanna talk, to, I wanna talk to Eco. And you notice that Eco is kind of sitting on the stage at this point. Yeah. Do you go up to Yeah. Uh, um, how did you know about Shiso? Um, I, uh, and they put their hands around their mouth, and you don't even hear them talk, but then you do right next to your ear. And they say, I used to I used to talk to Shiso before, and um, Master Nanda didn't want me to I wanted more people to get out. I um I was only only little when everyone was taken from the village. I couldn't do anything. I wanted to do right by them and you. I'm sorry they didn't get out. Do you know if she's alive? heard from her once over the last couple days. Wherever she is, she said she was safe. But she didn't sound like she'd be able to make it here. I'm sorry. Okay. And Eco will hug Aimee. That, how does Aimee react? I don't think she's ever been hugged. <laughs> <laughs> so just kind of frozen. And they just repeat, I'm sorry. Yeah. Okay. You go back and sit on the stage. So the rest of you didn't necessarily hear that, but no. what you did see was the hug. The hug. Yeah. Yeah. Um how did she feel? Oh, I realized. Figure out. If <laughs> I. She's, it, it goes real. I also realized I never, uh, I never describe what I look like. Um, <laughs> I'm like, first, I'm a 16 year old. I'm shredded. <laughs> <laughs> so like every part of me is hard. Have you ever seen Adon without a shirt on? <laughs> he is shredded. Yeah. <laughs> Trevor is not. <laughs> shredded. He's a 16 year old. You're just like the hell. Welcome to RPGs. We're eat tabletop RPGs. Where you can be whoever you want. Well, <laughs> um, uh, I, re regular. 
They... Do you still think that's not a person? <laughs> Have you ever seen somebody bend all the elements? It was a magic trick. It like might have been. Oh, where'd my thumb go? Oh no! What? Oh, what? It was that. <laughs> oh, man. That was you... that was pretty cool. That was I rad. To, that was pretty cool. I have to. Is admit. that a water bending technique? <laughs> yes. I'm bending. <laughs> And I try to bend my thumb, and it kind of, kind of hurts. I'm like, <sighs> uh, when he tries to bend his thumb, my face just turns red. And I, hey, what did you do to his thumb? Never hey, mind. Can you take inspired for me, please? <laughs> <laughs> um, oh, I may. You take empowered. Okay. okay. As that's happening, um, two things are going to occur. One. Eco comes up to Denpo, and again, that thing where you didn't notice them, very quiet. Yeah. Um, and you don't notice it until you're like, it's a magic trick, ah, like doing that. And you notice that they're like, they, they're fiddling with your vines. They're like, oh, that's really cool. And they're literally moving the vines. And the moment they notice you noticing, they're like, oh, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Um, sorry, they're, they're just really, they're really pretty. And goes from, it's a magic trick, the whole the one did you <laughs> And now he's just trying to take it all in. Yep, as that's happening, you hear, you're focused on this, whoa, and then you just hear in the background as Orla is continuing to apparently be very interested in someone who's trying to leave with their cart. Um, the cart is being sh shaken, like shook. Um, and the person's like trying to stop them from doing it. You go, get out of there, get out of there. No, it, it, it. And they, they get knocked aside and Orla like opens it and upturns it and starts eating what are cabbages. And the guy yells, my cabbages! Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Orla! Thank you to Garrett Greenlund for redeeming that. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. Redemption! Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I said to Orla and I call yeah. Orla over. Uh, Orla turns a whole cabbage in their mouth. Get oh. over here. And they wander over. Did you have permission for that? <laughs> and just like spit it out. It just like a wet cabbage and <laughs> under the ground. You can eat it. Next time, manners. So, how many of your characters have seen Elephant Mandrill in person? No. So, <laughs> really? Really? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, you're not quite prepared for this kind of fuzzy pachyderm. Ooh. Still PG-13. Um, <laughs> this fuzzy giant ape. Um, to open their mouth and you're expecting like square teeth. You're not expecting the large maw of fangs <laughs> and then just take a huge bite out of that cabbage. I immediately get into like a defensive like stance. But then the moment after that, when they start chewing, all fear might dissipate because they look like the goofiest thing possible. As one leaf is just like this out of their mouth of another. Like, I am truly. Yeah, that's great. And I leave. I walk away. Uh, I uh, I am gonna go talk to the uh, air bending master. I am going to uh, give you a fatigue for that. I'm so sorry. But uh, that was. Mean. It was. That was cold. That was cold. It was real cold, mean. Cold. It's cold. I would say cold as ice, but stone can be cold yeah. too. Um, Hard as granite. Yeah. <laughs> so who are you going up to? Uh, the airbending yeah. master. Yeah. And they're kind of watching everything. Mm. And um, and uh, I say. So. 
building pathways. Hmm. That's it? No, not even remotely. Are you interested in doing more? Depends. There are, we'd need a group of you. If you think those three, you could work with them, that would work. There's a team of bandits that plague this area. Oh. Deal with them in the way you see fit. We'll judge your performance and we'll see. What's in it for me? You mean beyond service to a higher purpose? There's only one higher purpose that means anything to me. Mm. And it is the pride of the eternal mountain. They kind of like brush their, their cloak and it kind of flutters for a second and they go, <clears throat> and they put their hands together and they go, tell me, do mountains move? And if you try to move, you can't. <clears throat> you still breathe, everything is fine there. But as you do so, it, the air feels thick. Mountains are stationary things, are they not? Not when I'm done with them. Good. If you want to learn, you'll need a master. I know many masters. Would you like to learn? Yes. And they release, <laughs> and like immediately. The rest of you that were probably watching that it literally looked like cellophane doesn't exist in this world, but for frame of reference for us, it's like the air just flexed around him. You would have noticed that pebbles on the ground were pushed into the sand. Mm. So, we have one volunteer. How about the rest of you? Would you show us what you can do? So Denpo has been like in Eco's face, just like poking them. And going, <laughs> do fire, do fire now. Now water, now air, now earth, do it, do it. And like trying to look for strings and stuff. And he just turns around just in time to see this and then goes, guys, I think this kid's legit. I guess I'm in. Hmm. Very good. I left because I wanted freedom not to serve somebody else's vendetta. Hmm. Do you think this is a vendetta? I don't know what this is. You were, uh, I can't remember, what did he call them again? Whispers, last breaths. Yes? Yes. Do you find much freedom there? No, that's why I left. You're not serving in an army. The intent isn't to form you into a militia or any such thing. The idea is we need people who are skilled. The Avatar can't be everywhere at once. We need people that can help them make this world a more peaceful place. You keep saying that, but by doing what? Like, uh, maybe it's not roads, you said it's not roads, so are we like helping build buildings, or are we like building like sculptures, or training yes. people? What are we doing? He's, he's questioning you. Do, do the thing, do the thing on him. The answer to all of your questions is yes. Hmm. Anything that makes this world better, 
If it's art, if you think art can inspire people towards peace, do art. Yeah. If you can stop bandits and other such issues that plague the land, that would also be good. If you can lead peoples, if you can do great things, the Avatar needs you. If I say yes, can I leave whenever I want? You could leave now. You say I'm serving everyone, not just one person? Yes. She's so sad to come here. And so you notice that Master Nanda kind of like doesn't know what you're talking about. I look to Eko. And Eko nods. But like nods be so Eko's like standing kind of behind the master and kind of like. Okay. Very well. I may. Yes. Yeah. You may what? Her name. I may. Oh. Uh, What's your name? I may. You may what? My name is. I may. Oh! That sounds like an inconvenience at times. You want an inconvenience? Oh, I think he's always looking for an inconvenience. <laughs> this is gonna be fun. Shake and cut. Are you counting yourself in? Oh yeah, yeah, this is gonna be great. And he just picks up his food <laughs> keeps eating. A day from here. There's territory that is currently being threatened by a bandit tribe, group, band. It's, <sighs> hmm? It's bandits. Yes. Deal with them as you see fit. I won't be far behind. Uh... Hmm. Just know this, if you send that guy, uh... The job will get done. <laughs> I mean, if you just want to hurt people. You don't have to hurt anyone. It's up to you how you do it. You're right. I don't need to hurt anyone. I just need to show them that I'm stronger. Sometimes they don't believe me and then they get hurt. <laughs> or you do. Ooh. Do we all have to come back alive? I would prefer it. That's not a yes. So. I don't understand their dynamic. I go, or ego. I don't get it. Um, so you see that there are other groups that have kind of are talking to the other masters. And it seems like after you get some food in you, you get to like rest for a bit, you're then sent out. To head to wherever this is. You're told that the, uh, the area is literally referred to as Stoneside, Stoneside Village. Do I, have I heard of it? You would have passed by it actually. No. On the way here. I just came from the bear, it'll be easy. But. Before you leave, Master Nanda gives you the description of the bandit in charge. They wear an eye patch and wield a large, cruel whip. Aime has like a flashback moment of the sound of a whip. Mm. Okay. Uh, one second. I'm gonna, what are your principles? Um, they are control and connection. Shift one spot towards control, unless you would like to resist it. No. Okay, resi okay cool. Uh, unity and heritage. Okay. Oh, are you asking all of it? Oh yeah. 
I was specifically talking just to Ima for this one. As you all set out on this road, journeying with people you maybe never imagined working beside, <laughs> deeply confused by a situation that seems wildly out of scope of whatever you were expecting, and still haunted by the life you left behind. You prepare for a test, a task. And we're gonna head into break. Oh damn. Fast. <laughs> I am um, very much ready to go to that. Join <laughs> us all back in a little bit a little as we bit. will <laughs> resume and see what this task the Avatar has put forth for all of them. When a statement must be made, it must be made loudly. Sometimes it's the only way to face the darkness is to embrace the darkness. Welcome back. Heroes! Yay! Yay! That's us! I am not a barbarian! Settle down, settle down! Who do you, babe? Kill a few people here and there in the name of don't kill me. There's a little something else in there. We've been through some stuff together. This is how we create bonds. The best part of my life. I'm not going to the temple. You start to vomit all over Aaron. No! He had a fling with a tiefling. Maybe I should wear like a sneaky detective outfit. <laughs> Are you sure I can't tempt you? With this. <laughs> That's not delightful. That's terrifying. Yeah. I'm trying to fight, and you got to turn it into a sex thing, and that damage is trash. And what is your seventh favorite dream? Oh my God. Friends solve puzzle together. Friends, our team. I'm good at killing things, right. and you guys are passable. Hello, <laughs> our old lovely wedding. He is now engulfed in flames. <laughs> I think I got in a couple good hits. Fennels, unconscious again. <laughs> Hello, Zap. Whoa. <laughs> Drop a zero. <gasps> Estravel. She is the devil. Okay, so she's looking for a vessel, and that's. Do not let that happen. Focus fire! You are so hungry. The familiar and unfamiliar faces of everyone you've ever killed. There is no justice here, only sickness, and I am the cure. No, 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 no. Her eyes go black. Oh, no. No, I'm down. <gasps> Saving them is, that's it. That's all, that, that's all, that's everything. Not ideal to have to kill your friends. She repeats back words that you said to her once. When a statement must be made, it must be made loudly. I've found people and starting to feel like a real person again. Because I have friends. I have friends now. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to Avatar Legends. A game for spirits. So, when we last left off, our heroes, yeah, we'll call them heroes, <laughs> have left off to undertake a task in the name of the Avatar. Avatar Eco, who they've just met. But as they set out on this journey, something very special happened. Before we get back to that, hello, if you didn't catch the first half, that's fine, don't worry, there will be a VOD going up on YouTube. Uh, we're very thankful to Magpie Games for supporting this game and for, whoa, you can grab that, giving us this wonderful book, this wonderful RPG book to give away. So in the chat, there is a giveaway prompt, which Trevor knows. Yeah, uh, so command giveaway gives you the details, com uh, exclamation point giveaway, or exclamation point ticket to get a ticket into the entry, which will be live on Twitch uh, before the end of this. We will close that and draw a winner. There'll also be another one on the finale on episode six. And we'll have other giveaways every single episode, but they're gonna be different, so you'll see. You gotta tune in, see if you can get those cool things. Um, I might. No, I'm probably out of the running for winning any of them. It's fine. Yeah. Um, <laughs> don't say yup so fast. <laughs> but it's oh, yup, though. It is, I know. Yup, yup. <laughs> <laughs> but before... Toot toot. Toot toot. toot, toot. <laughs> or Liz Magnitude. Cool. <laughs> um, 
before we left off, Aime, mm -hmm. you had a wonderful shift. Which principle was it? Which color, rather, did it correspond to? That can, that was to white. To white. So, we haven't gone to use this yet, but we have a wonderful pie show board right here. Mm -hmm. Which, yes. So, each of these reflects each of the characters. So, this is Cheyenne's set. This is Murdoch's. Trevor and Alan. Each of these represents a different side of their principle. One cleaves a little bit closer to chaos, one a little closer to order. That's just my little spice that's not necessarily in the system. But it was the one leaning more towards... To white. White. So, and you're moving towards that. Yeah. Oh, it's so fancy. Mm -hmm. So, that's now shifted. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I was you, 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 you only kind of know what that means, and it's still stressed you yeah. out. So where, where are you on your uh, on there? Because I know you didn't start necessarily at zero, correct? I'm now, yeah, so now I'm at zero. Oh, okay, very good. So yeah. shifted towards more towards the center. So asking everybody else, I should have done that the first, and I forgot. That's okay. So we're going to fix that. So where was everybody? Where, where are you closest to, furthest along at this point? I am at one red. One red? Plus one red. Okay, where are you? Plus one red. Yeah, very good. Mm. So, on similar paths, and yet they have such problem. Uh, what? Plus one red. Plus one red. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, that's <laughs> really funny. Um, you're moving towards the other direction. That's really interesting. Well, yeah, I, I associated chaos with connection because <laughs> She doesn't, she hasn't had that before, so that's the more chaotic choice. And I associated control with uh, the white, the, what's, order. what? Order, thank you. Yeah. 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 Excellent, no, that's great. That's really cool. So wait, you're at zero? So now I'm at, I'm at zero. Oh yeah, you're zero. Yeah. Zero. Well, that, so where you'll go from there will be an interesting question. Hmm. So, all of you have gone out on this journey. How many times can I say the word so? Probably more. <laughs> I almost just said it again. <laughs> <laughs> it's just a good word. It's a great it's word. It's a very good word. Keep track of it in the chat. <laughs> Please it's don't. Better than, um, <laughs> way better than, um, so. Alas? I can give you fatigue. I can just do that. <laughs> you know that, right? Like I can just after all shit. Fatigue. Yeah. Um, shift towards chaos. <laughs> oh, no. uh, anyway, so you guys are moving through the jungle towards your destination. Um, are you choosing to take the road, or are you choosing to move through the jungle? That's actually the first question I should have made. I would vote to take the road. Okay. Um. How do we want to do this? Do we want I mean, I'm just saying, I think if we get their sneaky roads or something that they would probably keep an eye on because it's common for people to approach that way. If they're bandits, that's where they would get them. If we go through the woods. I just spent four days in the up. woods. I would prefer to not anymore. And besides, <laughs> sneaking around is for cowards. <laughs> Ooh. Oh. You walk the, the 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 path and face your enemy head on. Dempo steps out of the underbrush eating a mango and it's just like, we could ah! go halfway Jeez. down the road <laughs> and then get off the road when we get close. You scared me. I'm just saying. I was gonna say, how'd that work out for you last time? I may. Mm -hmm. um, as soon as he says that, uh -huh. um, she is like, Hella sneaky. Mm -hmm. um, so she just switches positions and goes up uh, right behind him and then just shoots a blast of air up his shirt. <laughs> so I would say that's, uh, we're gonna say that's trick, yeah? Yeah. Let's do, oh, just for me to make a suggestion. Sure. Yeah, Sorry. Roll for a thing. Roll yeah. Yeah. Uh, if you would like to make that a move. Everybody, like, everybody's used to Dungeons and Dragons out there. It's like, roll for something. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, this is that's no. For, that. That would be for an NPC. You're not affecting an NPC, ah. so you're not even gonna roll for this. Great. Uh, unless you're trying to elicit a reaction that would tempt his uh, balance. 
Um, I just, uh, it's more about me um, asserting how wrong he is in his last statement, quietly what? and sneakily. What are your principles? Uh, force and care. Cool. So, this happens. <laughs> You're currently in that conversation, and just suddenly, Jennifer, where? Just up the back of his shirt. Okay, so that happens. Gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> So in between, sorry. What was that about being stealthy? You notice that Aimee is in a completely different position. Huh. So in between that, uh, uh, that action, that statement, and your st statement, um, I, uh, I just like, all right, I know that there's hard stone underneath the sand, beneath my feet, so I step, I take, uh, just a firm step down, <clears throat> pebbles fly up, and I <clears throat> and fasten them around my fists. And I say, the next person to say or do anything that would test my patience will be sorry. <laughs> Got it? Now, who here has dealt with Bandits. Because I fought them all along the path to get here. Is that true? Yes. Okay. Hmm. I've dealt with many a large party on my own. On your own? Mm hmm. Whoa. Oh. I like this kid. <clears throat> All right, you stick around, be sneaky or whatever if you want. You do you, you and we're good. How about you? Uh, yeah, I've also been to large parties and he just keeps eating his meat. <laughs> okay, you take the back. And you? I just think we should get an assessment of what kind of force we're up against. How many are there? What is their camp like? If we get the element of surprise, then maybe we don't even have to fight. Maybe we have to, I mean, it seems like you just want to fight them. Mm, it works. If we can see what they're doing, what their patterns are, then we can use that against them. Hmm. Right. That's the point. I'm imagining you're having this conversation as you're journeying at this yeah. point on the road. Yeah. Yeah? I'm probably looking down at him from the top of Orla. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's a good question. Is anybody else riding Orla? You're all welcome to. No, um, that's too soon. That's too much. <laughs> it's too soon right now. Yeah, I mean, you just took a step away from connection, so yeah. Yeah. Actually, technically, you took it closer. Whatever, it's fine. Not yet. No, not not yet. Yet. I'm finishing my mango and strolling along. Cool. Wait, here's in the bushes. Yeah. yeah. So you travel along this road for a while. It takes you a couple hours, but at a certain point, you hear sounds. You hear the sound of fire, some yelling. What time of day is it? Down the road. It's about midday. Uh, is there anything we can take cover in? It's not coming at you, it's just... No, but here. like... Oh yeah, the really, forest. Like, forest here, forest, forest there. Forest, forest. You could literally jump in at any point. I think now is the time to... Yeah, I think um, I may sort of walks ahead into the forest and jets up a tree really fast to see if she can see above. Ooh. Yeah, that's no role whatsoever. She's good. Um, so you get up there, and would you like to make this a move? Uh, yeah, I would like to uh, scope out the situation. Okay, so let's do a roll then. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, six. Okay. So, you get up there, and maybe it's where you're at. I will mark one fatigue to help. 
Ooh. and then a success. Okay. There we go. Great. Yeah. How are you helping? Uh, as you're up in the tree, uh, I'll say, look for movement. Yeah, I guess I'll just do that. Yeah. <laughs> I guess I didn't think of that before. <laughs> I, it's the best I got. <laughs> I imagine that it's a, it's actually the situation where you get up there, you do that. I was tired. And it's, you along the road probably didn't have to use your airbending a lot. Mm-hmm. And kind of make some stuff come up. Mm -hmm. And so you just, you're, it's not that you failed in noticing something so much as you needed to take a moment. Mm -hmm. And then your call out reminds you of, right. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So you notice, because this would bump this over to a weak success or a yeah. minor. Yeah, okay. Yeah, seven. So minor success. So you see movement past the trees, you see a thatched roof or two. You see one is on fire. There's some smoke. And you see some like shapes moving. Mm. Okay, and how how close are they? Uh I'd say about like ten minutes away. Okay. So it looks to me like a raid, like these bandits are raiding somewhere. Yeah. So that's also gonna bring up a lot for me. Um Okay, I'm just gonna silently like hop down from the tree and start walking really fast in that direction. And I don't think to tell anybody what I saw because I don't, I can't think of that right now. So I just start going really fast. Is anybody watching Aime yeah. when this happens? Oh, yeah, totally, cool. Yeah. So yeah, you see, start heading towards that direction. Anybody follow? Uh, see, they the enemy. Yeah, talk, talk, on. you want on or what? Uh, yeah, I'm gonna jump on the mantle. Cool. Toot, toot. You ride and you move swift. I'm imagining you're using a little bit of ending to make yourself a little faster. Yeah, it's like those like at the airport. <laughs> people, people movers. She's taxiing. She's taxiing. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Just a little bit faster, where it's like, whoa. <laughs> Weird. Oh, That's so good. Power walk. Yeah. So, as you rush forward, you slipping out of the trees into this burning village. You on the elephant mandrel rushing into the open. You notice that people are trying to put stuff out and they immediately, like one of them that's holding a bucket goes, ah! The moment they see you, assuming you're more bandits. And there's buildings on fire? There are buildings that are on fire. Um, there's stuff that's smashed. Uh, if you want to notice anything more, you could make a move. Uh, I'm just going to, are we close to a building now? Yeah, you're close to a couple. Oh, you're yeah. like right at the entrance of town. So I'm there's going like a... to jump off Orla and start bending the fire off of the buildings. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. So, do I won't say that that's a roll whatsoever, just because you can bend elements, that's fine. Um, people, does anybody else help? Yeah, I'm helping bend water right away. That yeah. bucket that the guy dropped, I'm gonna bend onto the fire. Cool. <laughs> Are you? Yeah. If I'm gonna, uh, if I, it, do I see any like small fires? Like, yep. Um, I'm going to uh, like move air away from them so they don't have oxygen. Yeah. Um, I, uh, the, the, the person who dropped the b b b bucket, I go, you. Y yeah? We're trying to find a dirt bag with an eye patch. They, they were, they were just here. Where? Did they go? They went north. Um, we think they went to our sister village. We, some of uh, some of us left to go help, but um, a lot of people were hurt. Good help. <sighs> and I start to move, just like d d d dirt around to start to like uh, stamp out any any flame uh, or embers. Okay, cool. So at this point, um, one of them kind of goes, well, wait, sorry, are, are you going after the bandits? Is that a thing you're doing? Yes. Well, right now, not yet, but soon. How many I were may there? Is. Well, I may is just putting out small fires yeah. <laughs> and still on her sidewalk. Awesome. Sidewalk to oh, north. Oh, oh, um, 
we can handle this. We, we can handle the, these small fires. Thank you for what you've done. Please go help them. How many were there? A dozen? <laughs> Enders? They aren't prepared. No. Just weapons? Yeah. Okay. I... No. Nope. I wouldn't say just weapons. What did they use to start the fires? I don't know. They threw them and there was fire. There was the sound, it sounded like thunder and then suddenly the roofs were on fire. I, I, I don't know. Um, if you follow this road, it'll lead you to our sister village. Please. Let's go stomp them out. <sighs> yeah, I may as well. <laughs> We're already on the road. Hey, kid! <laughs> wait up! <laughs> I'm still on the elephant bed. I'm like, toot toot! <laughs> Can I know everybody's principles for a second? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so. Uh, roll versus freedom. Roll versus freedom? Uh, force versus care. Okay, never mind. One sec. You're the one they grab. So one of them grabs your hand before you can take off and goes. Which is still c c c covered in rocks. Yeah, not grabbed as in like, they're trying yeah. to arrest you, but like pleading. Yeah. They grab hold of you and go, please, you have. My, I'm from that village. My family is there. Please, anything you can do. And this point. I, the Game Master, am going to do a special move where I am going to uh, do, sorry, one moment. I'm going to shift your balance. Oh. She gonna mess you up. Would you like to resist this? They always do. Would you like to resist this? This will be towards care. Uh, yuck. Uh, I, um... I uh, I do. I, I resist this, yes. Okay, cool. So I then you're going to do a nice yeah. move yeah. here, I drop my earth which is basically be resist shifting your balance. Roll. Okay. Uh, I want so you roll two <laughs> dice. Okay. On a 10 plus, you're going to choose two of these. On a 7 and a 9, choose one. Okay. Is this a straight roll or do you roll with? It's. I, I, I don't roll with anything. It's nope. a straight roll. Straight roll. Uh, let's see. Yeah, just roll two dice. I'll read out what okay. happens. Okay. That's that point. Uh, uh, Eight. nine. Oh, nine. Nine. Yeah, nine. perfect. Okay, so you get to choose one of these. You can clear a condition or mark growth by immediately acting to prove them wrong. Uh-huh. You can shift your balance towards the opposite principle. Mm -hmm. Or you can learn what their principle is. Um, I think I'll prove them wrong. Hey, how are you gonna do that? I say, um, I just like, I not too forcefully or aggressively, but just very curtly take my hand away, and I say, I'll take the bandit leader out. Then your family will be fine. Come on, let's go. For anybody that sees that. As he walks away, as he like charges off, does anybody look back? I'm not looking, but I'm ahead, so I don't know what he's. Anybody else? You're ahead. Uh, you don't have to. That's fine. You were already. You were still on Orla. Yeah. I would have jumped up on Orla and not looked back. Or yeah. I, I might have looked back to see if he was coming. Okay, so then all you'd see is Khan leaving, and this person kind of just like still holding their hands there. Like, they were still holding your hand, but just, and they just kind of mouth the words, okay. Hmm. You really shook that person, so. You jerk. It's a uh, thing you did. Mark growth. <laughs> uh, I think it's, it's clear a condition or mark, mark growth. growth. Okay, okay. yeah. There you go. You don't have any conditions. Yeah, cool. Uh, cool. Uh, how do I mark growth? Uh, should be on your sheet. There Somewhere should be. It's on page two sheet. here. Oh, oh yes, okay, I see, I see. Growth. Oh yeah, woo -hoo. Mark growth. <laughs> cool, perfect. So, everybody else is on the road. Everybody else is charging. As you start moving towards this village, it's not far at all. 
It's called the Sister Village in this case because it is literally just past a river. There's a river that divides them, little bridge. And you can even see as you reach that bridge, the clearing of the other village where there are people clearly in the center of town wielding weapons. So at this point, how do all of you want to tackle this? Do you want to go in stealthily? Do you want to go in elements of blazing? Um, What's the plan? I am in a trauma state, mm -hmm. and I, I don't think I'm going to think about being stealthy. I think I'm going in guns blazing. I think we should make a statement. That way they won't come back here. Are you, are you up on Arla, or are you... I'm, I'm on foot. Yeah. Trying to catch up to the, the yeah. elephant man. Okay. <laughs> so I can basically talk to you. Yeah. I think we should try to scare them off. You turn around and Tempo's not there. <laughs> <laughs> he's, he's reached out and one of the vines on his wrist has unwrapped and it's grabbed a tree and he's like halfway up. Spider Manning? Oh, okay. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Little bit. Yeah. 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 Right. Okay. All right. One um, might even call that a canon event. Yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, well, uh, then I'm just following Ime, so wherever you go. Monkey follow. <laughs> <laughs> so that, uh, for anybody, if, if shipping those two characters, uh, the name of it would be uh, Monkey Follow. Uh, so that works. I'm sorry. Uh, I'm so sorry, everyone. I apologize to a host. If you Back into it. Hashtag monkey follows. Hashtag monkey follows. <laughs> okay. You knew who you were sitting down at this table with. I, I did. I did. I, I chose all of you. Yeah. That's a, that's something that's coming back to haunt me. It's fine. <laughs> You're fine. But at, as as you look back and realize that he's not there, you just hear from the trees. I got you. <laughs> okay. So. All three of you charge in, you just somewhat taking up the rear. So I imagine you're gonna try and like, boom, show up, right? Yeah, I, I'm on my moving sidewalk sh yeah. stuff. Um, you know, like doing that. Um, and I think, yeah, I would just be going in s straight up with attacks. Okay. Which I understand is not the smartest choice, but that's where she's at. Yeah. Cool. And she's a teenager, so she does what she wants. <laughs> okay. Um, so before, mm, mm -hmm, yeah. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So, here's how we're gonna do this. So, combat in Avatar Legends works a little differently than you might be used to in other systems. It's referred to as an exchange. Mm -hmm. In exchanges, they aren't. Not all combats are exchanges. Not all exchanges are combats. Um, what they represent is two figures that are opposed in a moment where neither words nor even just violence is going to solve it. It is the wuxia ideal of a fight, where you are fighting as much with your ideals and emotions than anything else. So, in this circumstance, this is not an exchange. Okay. Because they don't know you're coming until you're there. Sure. So, what does I may do to, like, do you just, like throw out a disc of air, how do you do this? Yeah, um, so there's a group of them, correct? Yeah, there's a group of them basically like, all kind of gathered together, like, threatening some people all that. Um, I would look, look like makeshift weapons. I would like to, um, she has a sort of, her, her practice move is directing very narrow uh, shots of air as basically like little bullets. Um, so I, I think she just grabs both of our hands and shoots directly at um, the bandits' hands, hold it like two of the bandits holding weapons to get to just get their weapons out of their hands. So this isn't even a roll. They they don't see you coming. Just ah 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 ah, and they two of the guys kind of like shake their hands. Don't know what's happened. Their hands are in quite a bit of pain, um, but they this makes them turn to face the rest of you as you arrive or you're going to be doing your Spider-Man thing. Uh, I'm going to I'm going to assess the situation from the trees. Okay. So you guys 
are both going to roll and intimidate for me. Okay. Yeah. And you and and assess the situation. Yeah. Yes, so you can roll that. Um, and I roll with oh, creativity. No. Oh, the only reason I told you what the role is because you. Oh, that's so bad. Uh, <laughs> sure, yeah, I'm just following <laughs> what I'm oh, following. Geez. I might leave. There's no um, helping you. But can I see what their pattern is? Like, are they? You're charging in at this point, so yeah, no. Okay. Sorry. Uh, okay. Plus my creativity, I roll a four. It's five, five, a five, a five. Oh. Five. Yeah. That is <laughs> no good. No bueno. So you were trying to assess the situation. So the problem is, is that it's chaos. You see these guys standing in the center and it's hard to even get really a number for them. And then you realize there are people coming out of that house. Two guys suddenly like drop their weapons or like that. And your friends run in. So you're just having difficulty parsing everything right now. Yeah. Uh, beyond what I just told you. Intimidate? Uh, I rolled a seven, but I have a minus one to passion. So it's a six. Fantastic. <laughs> uh, Con? Um, it's just a quick question. A quick answer, yeah. Uh, did I, was I meant to, I forget, was I meant to mark fatigue when the airbending master? No, because you would have lost all fatigue. Okay, great, got it, so that, that's, toast. that's gone. Okay, uh, then I am, uh, I'm going to uh, just like, I'm not necessarily assessing the situation because that is a way to gather information. Uh, Khan has his own way to gather information. It's to uh, beat someone up and ask them where the, the, the head honcho is. So, okay, so here's my question. Are you joining in, in an intimidate? Or are you doing your own thing? Ooh, I will say that yes, I will join in the intimidate. Here. And what did you get? A six. Six? So would you like to help? Sure. Riding in cool. I'm gonna say, I'm gonna say that I don't think he's intimidating enough, and he's proving me right. Uh, so I will uh, I will help. Okay, describe the scene. How does this happen? So okay. Oral is running in to be scary, right. and it clearly there's a faltering moment. Ugh. And then how do you write it? Um uh all the best photographs or best pictures or paintings are defined by their uh, frame. <laughs> yep. So uh, as uh, as uh, you are uh, mounted on, on the back of Orla, I just raise a, like a mountain of earth up the, the, the behind you. And I'm standing on top top of it, just Cool, okay, so. <laughs> uh, so, you get to hey, choose one. have a good game face. <laughs> you get to choose one as a result of your, your success. Okay. Um, oh, no, wait. Oh, no, on I'm, a hit, on a they, hit choose they choose one. Yeah, so oh, you choose. Okay. We have no say of what happens. So, they're gonna go, whoa, um, get the rest of the guys, and they, like, start scattering right. to like the various houses. And like one of them grabs a horn and I say, yes, yes, let them come. Ugh. Make our jobs easier for us. <laughs> I get to tell everyone who I am. Bandits rush out of these houses. Can I do something? You definitely can. Um, the guy with the horn? Yeah. I'm gonna reverse the air, and so it goes back into him, and he chokes. <laughs> He's having a bad day. It's gonna have lasting effects on that guy's gastrointestinal. Oh. Okay, he just he... from the trees, you just heard. <laughs> okay, now that we're Orla has come to a halt, <laughs> people intimidating than I was. Uh, those guys are running just. Escape. Are the villagers, is, is, is there a separation? You don't see the villagers. Oh, I thought that they were intimidating people with weapons. They were standing in the center, that's true, brandishing weapons, but you didn't see villagers. Interesting. Oh, shit. Hmm. Okay. Uh, well, I'm gonna... And more, more of these bandits are rushing out. Um, and you notice that 
as that happens, the guy that pulls the horn is choking, bends down because he's choking now. Somebody else who is, they weren't, they were protecting someone in the center. Oh. And someone stands up. And they're big, ugly, scarred. Their hair, um, so you know when someone has um, scarification that defi- like changes their hairline? Yeah. Like that. Okay. Um, it's not, uh, this wasn't done to them, they did it to themselves, to make themselves look cool, maybe. Um, one of their eyes has a leather eye patch on it, and they've got a whip on their belt. And they lift someone up, and they're holding someone by like their collar. This person is easily twice Khan's height. Um, they're pretty tall. <sighs> Drop the person. What? <laughs> My cabbages. My cabbage. His cabbages is just like what he calls himself. Um, that's what he calls his tuckus. Uh, so, there's it all of you. Kids? Why are a bunch of kids here? Out of here. <laughs> we don't do daycare. What do you want? My name is Khan Dai Li, son of Yong Dai Li, the Eternal Mountain Fist. And you, you cur, have met your match this day. <laughs> okay, anybody else got a little proclamation? Yeah. Uh, did you guys Did other not people have run off? Is he he had the horn guy, but is there anyone else around? Oh, there, there are other these his people are all around him basically. But are they kind of behind him? No, they're around him. Okay. Uh, I know your tricks. Um, <laughs> yes. All right. Any other proclamations? Don't they don't see you yet? So, let me guess. The wandering flame. I okay. stand up on top of Orla. You face the future Dianoch of Tylus. I, uh, I was joking. I didn't actually think he was gonna do another one. That was pretty funny. <laughs> okay. Okay, cool. And you... A monk. All right. All right, kids, go home. Just collecting what's owed. No big deal. What's that? Protection. From who? These are dangerous lands. Kids running around with bending. Could, you could hurt something, someone. We could. <laughs> okay. We're still like in like, it's not a unified Earth kingdom, but it is like like Earth. Yeah, there are there tribe. are a lot of Earth benders in this area. We'll say right. that. Okay. There's no. We are in an area where there is no such thing as an Earth kingdom. kingdom. Yeah. Uh, there is no Earth king. Uh, ba Sing Se is but a figment in someone's distant mind. It isn't a thing. Um, but yes, there is a large amount of Earth benders in this area. Um, something about. Some people, some older folk would say that that's because uh, this is where the lion turtle once lived. Oh. Um, some of you are probably like, okay, grandpa, go back to sleep. <laughs> um, none of you have ever seen a lion turtle. You don't know what that is. But some people claim that that's where everybody came from. That's where you all were before. I, I say um, you offend the people of this land and soon this land will all be under the umbrella of the Eternal Mountain. So I'll give you one last chance to pack up your things 
and go. You two, fine. Get her. And he basically like squares up with the two of you while his guards, his bandits, all kind of get together and like are brandishing weapons at you. Kind of like a little weirded out, but like approaching you as, has everybody seen Kung Fu Hustle? Sure. Yeah. yeah. You know, like, Axe Gang? Yeah. Like that with their weapons where they're like, they're not quite sure how to move forward with this, but they're 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 getting ready because you're a bender. Yeah. They're not benders. Um, we are entering in two different exchanges here. Yes, I have a plan. You can join either one. Can I as- try assessing the situation one more time? <laughs> sure. Let's like, see what's actually happening. He's like, try. I don't know. It's going I really want to know. This turns out this is a theater troop. Right? An eight, nine, so nine. Yes. Oh, Wait, six, six, nine. Nine. yeah. There you go. Nine. Okay, that's close. Ask me a question. Uh, I want to know what's my. Oh, I want to know a number of things. <laughs> um, I want to look for villagers. Okay. I'm, I'm looking. F- I want to know what's going on, because we thought we were coming here to defend a village that was being attacked. Now this guy's saying he's collecting what's being owed, which is protection, which is obviously a racket and super sketchy. But like, where are these villagers? What's happening? Mm-hmm. Yeah. What's going on? So. You're looking for the villagers, and you realize in looking that, you know all the, a bunch of bandits came out of houses, right? People are looking out from the windows. You know in a Wild West showdown, where people are all like mm-hmm. blind shut, stuff like that, equivalent to that. Okay. People are still safe in their homes. Okay. Uh, safe. Do they look scared of the bandits? Yes. Okay. Very much so. But it looks more like, you know when you're scared of a storm that you're used to rolling through? Yeah. Mm. They are also looking at the rest of everyone else, kind of like, this has never happened before. Okay. Mm. They've never seen a firebender and an earthbender next to each other doing poses. <laughs> <laughs> they've never seen, cool. they've probably never even seen an airbender right. or a, an, like an air nomad monk. They've never. Um, so there's a mix of fear and wonder, but rote fear and newfound wonder. Okay. So, do you have our, so with that said, I'm gonna do one round of either exchange. Would you like to join either of these exchanges? I'm gonna join this exchange. So you just hear this, as he comes kind of falling out of the tree. You don't even have to jump out yet. You can um, save that for I'm your I'm gonna attack. hang out for a minute. Yeah, cool. yeah, 100%. I just wanted you to commit to one of them. I'll make that entrance in a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, we're gonna do two different exchanges. The way we're gonna do this is I'm gonna bounce from one to the other. Um, to take everybody else through exchanges. Exchanges are probably one of my favorite new ways of doing combats. I think they're really cool. Um, we go through it step by step. So, first off, I'm going to choose an approach for both of these fine people, which I already have. And then you guys are going to choose yours. So everybody look at your approaches, decide which one you're going to do. Okay. Everybody's ready? Everybody's ready to Yu-Gi-Oh here? Yeah. There are these wonderful cards that come with the collector's edition that are very wonderful for playing the game. You can also just, there's also options to like print and play and stuff like that. But the cards are very wonderful and have wonderful art on them. So, at this point, I reveal what I've chosen. This dude is going ahead and doing evade and observe. Mm. These people, this crowd, is doing advance and attack. Mm. Okay. And you guys, remember, you can always talk amongst each other if you want to discuss what you're doing. We did. We I'm got not going to. Yeah, we got this. Yep, yeah, yep. Yeah. yeah, you got it? Yeah, we yeah. got it. Yeah. Okay. So, reveal what you're doing. So, we're going to go to this exchange first. Defend and maneuver. Defend and maneuver? Defend and maneuver. 
Fantastic. Cool. Uh, defend and maneuver. Advance and attack. Fantastic. So these all occur in a different order. So defend and maneuver happens first, mm-hmm. followed by advance and attack, and then finally evade and observe. So first and foremost, we are going to resolve the defend and maneuver techniques. So our approaches. So both of you roll your dice because this will, do, and then you can determine which specific one you're doing. There you go. Oh my god. Ooh. No. Oh. That didn't work. Yeah. Okay. So, as a result of rolling two, what yeah. did you, what was your stat for it? Uh, I was using focus of so four. Okay. So, remember, you Still can bad. instead on a miss you stumble, but you can shift your balance away from center to use one basic technique. Do you want to shift it a little away from center? Yeah. Cool. Where are we going? Which direction? Let's let's go towards white. Let's go towards control. Okay. She's remembering her, her training. Okay. So you are gonna get to do one basic technique then. But it has to be basic. Can't be one of your- Can't be one of my- No. Oh, okay. Has to be basic. So it has to be one of these. Yes. Got it. Uh, Murdoch, what'd you get? Okay. Uh, I got eight total. Okay. Uh, so I'm gonna use the move called Ready. So you just hear as Dempo falls out of the tree and dusts himself <laughs> off. He's okay. like, guys, I was trying to figure out what was going on up in that tree, and you guys were everywhere, and I couldn't see anything, and there were these two angry birds, and they were pecking at me. <laughs> I couldn't find anything. There were some really good lychee nuts in that tree, though. And <laughs> if you're paying attention, I may notice is that the vines on his hands are gone. Ooh. Because Hey, you guys don't happen to want to defuse the situation at all. And they don't look like they do. And he goes, all right, fine. <clears throat> and the vines come up out of the ground and grab onto their feet. Okay, so and this is ready, right? Yes, yeah, so I've marked one fatigue. It says, uh, ready yourself or your environment, assigning a cl- or clearing a fictionally appropriate status on nearby characters or yourself. <laughs> So does that mean I can oh, inflict can stunned on them? Would you like stunned or trapped? Well, yeah, or trapped. Uh, or actually, or I would argue impaired yeah, would make impaired more sense. Or, right, I was thinking this is more of a distraction. Okay. And not necessarily trying to hold them down. This so is trying stunned. to make them, make them stumble and be like, what is going on? Yeah, perfect. Yeah, this, so, is, this is a bit of a distraction. Perfect, so stunned it is then. They are stunned, you're... D- Defend a maneuver. Uh, I have to roll, right? Yes. Roll indeed. first before I can say what I can do. Yes, okay. indeed. I was too eager. No, it's all good. Uh, that is a nine. Woo! Even with your stat? Uh, yeah. yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. cool, plus, cool, cool. plus two makes it a nine. It was cool. a seven. So you're able to do it then? Sweet. Then. You're not able to do anything special. You can only do a basic at that point, I think. Oh, is that the case? Basic or mastered. Basic or mastered. Or mastered. I was going to use my master technique. Fantastic. So I. And I cast wall of perfection, or I use the technique wall of per- perfection, uh, which creates a perfect wall of defense uh, around myself and the allies that I'm directly next to. Uh, but because the, all the other bandits move towards I may, uh, you're actually- not in exchange with them, so you can't affect them. Uh, no, uh, yeah, it's 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 going to go between the guy that we're facing off against and his people. Oh, cutting him off. Yeah, so it's mm. it's separating us and cutting him off. Um, and I can mark one fatigue to block a single attack toward the wall or keep an enemy at bay who tries to penetrate the wall. Okay. So if he tries to penetrate it, I can intensify it and mark one fatigue. And that's if he tries to go th- to his dudes. Yeah. Okay, fantastic. Uh, now I'm gonna do the, we're gonna do the advance and attack. So I'm gonna resolve my first one, which is over here. Do I get to do one before, or because I failed? Oh, right, sorry. Yeah. Yes, 100%, that was my bad of the okay. sorry. No, that's okay. I don't know if it was like a failure thing I had to go after. No, no, no. no. Um, so I shifted my balance um, and I'm gonna do seize a position. Yep. Um, so I, I know they've kind of encircled us. Yep. So I'm going to like, like shoot air, like air bend myself over and outside of the circle. Flips. Okay, cool. Like a little, yeah, cool, like on oh, flip, yeah. Fantastic. So yeah, you just, and you're there, and now they have to split their attention. Yeah. That's fantastic. So you've changed the terrain basically. Yeah. Both of you kind of did that in a really yeah. cool way, which is awesome. 
Um, does that apply a condition? Uh, no. Okay. Um, but if they try and block it, then they have to mark a fatigue. Right. Okay. I will say that they do, so I am going to mark a fatigue for them. So, yeah, that's not going so well for them. We'll say that. Uh, minor, minor NPCs do not have as much fatigue as the rest of you. Mm. Mm. Uh, nice. They're going to do their advanced attack, and they're going to try overwhelm. So, <laughs> these guys decide and realize very quickly that <laughs> two benders, oh no. They've, some of them are staring at their feet, they're panicked. They're going to all kind of attack at once. So the ones facing you all swing at the same time. The ones facing you all swing at the same time. Axe gang! <laughs> um, at this point, uh, you must either mark two fatigue, either of you must either mark two fatigue or take one condition. Mm. Your choice. Take a condition. Take a condition? Which one would you... Mark two fatigue. I will say that you're impaired now because you are slowed or off balance. I would say be dodging that many attacks at once would count as being off balance. Sorry, condition or a status? Oh, did I say, sorry. Condition. Oh, oh yeah, yeah, condition. So that's, that's different. different. So afraid right. to guilty is trouble. So uh, yeah, what are your conditions? I'm afraid. Okay, F afraid, that works. Yeah, yeah, I, I haven't fought this many uh, adults with axes before, so I'm a yeah, little like, sense. ah! Thank you for catching that, Trevor. I completely forgot the delineation between status and condition. Yes. Statuses are these wonderful cards, um, and there are things that can be applied to you. Conditions are on your character sheet, and they're tied to your character themselves. It confuses me like all the time. That is I'm definitely really, yes. a little bit confusing. Yeah. I can clear one yeah. of the fatigues that yes. just gave me. <laughs> yeah. um, remember, you have inspired, too. Yes. Cool. Yeah. It's, um, it's hanging out. It's ready. So, you've done that. Now you're going to attack. Yeah. So, what does Khan do? So, uh, uh, um, fire his. You uh, hear air jets happening. Cool. Uh, from his um, planted stance, he leaps up. This this guy's like quite a, quite a few heads higher uh, mm -hmm. than than Khan, um, and I uh, like with my uh, gauntlets of stone. Uh, I marked one fatigue for that. Um, I advance an attack, and I'm gonna use my uh, fighting technique, Earth gaunt gaunt Gauntlet. Ooh, um, okay. Did you roll? Uh, no, I haven't rolled. Oh, so, okay, so roll f roll first before Let's you see. do time. Oh, yeah. gotta, 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 yeah, gotta, 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 Yeah, yeah. My bad. Of course, of course, of course. Ooh. Ooh. That's a 10. That and is a 10. And oh, advance oh. attack, it's rolled with passion, that's right. so that's 12. Yeah, so, that's you. Cool. Can, uh, yeah, you can do some really cool stuff then. Uh, yeah. Okay, and on 10 plus, you choose one from this list. You can uh, mark one fatigue to use a learn technique, use one practice technique, or use two different basic or master techniques. What are you doing? Double up. Um, two different basic or master techniques. Let's see here. Um, is your, or what's your Earth Gauntlet thing? My, my Earth Gauntlet is a learned technique, right? So you could just use that. Oh, yeah. And then you can level it up, yeah. Yeah, and that'll yeah, become practice. Yeah, so mark awesome. one fatigue then. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, so, I got you there. So as this is happening, like you're forming, you're reforming gauntlets as you do it. Yeah. So I'm imagining like, tell me if I'm wrong, you fly up into the air and it's like the earth clings to you as you're getting ready. It's like the, like, like an impact of earth as I leap off of it and those fragments become it. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Yeah. As that happens, Standing there, the flames was left. You descending. At this point, he's gonna mark one fatigue because he sees you falling, he sees the fire. When the fire flame wall went beside him, he didn't even flinch. You're falling? This guy's big. It's twice your height. Mm -hmm. You're descending down and he just steps and whirls. Like, you've never seen someone this big move this fast. Like, you land, and he's beside you. Okay. Well, that's scary. Um, 
that uh, that Earth Gauntlet advanced attack, it also uh, allows me to inflict one condition or two f f fatigue on okay on my opponent. Which one would you like to do? Um, he has favored as a result of his. Uh, da, 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 da. I would uh, ooh, I would like to uh, inflict one condition. Okay. So, I'll tell you what his one condition is. Okay. Major NPCs tend to only have access to one condition. Oh. Legendaries NPCs have up to four, sometimes even like seven. Um, minor don't even have really conditions. He has one, which is angry. Uh oh. <laughs> so, what do you do that ticks him off so bad? Right. So, I, uh, like, as he dodges out of the way, but before I hit the ground, I, like, pivot in the air and I just punch him in the chin. <clears throat> uh, and as I do, I, like, like, being, like, as proud as I am of my, like, of my s style, I call out my, my, t Techniques. Uh, so, so, so I say, um, I say, uh, uh, toast the the, uh, the the emperor with a ch ch chalice of stone, and I hit him in the chin. Mm. You just see fire. In and as ice. I land, I like re pose and. Cheeky. Nobody is, I'm feeling, nobody's unbalanced to the point where they, or suddenly shifted their position where they want to exit this exchange, correct? Correct. No. So let's go into the next round. Yeah. So, everybody, see what you want to do. Uh, so how does stunned actually like take effect on these guys? The way it's written out, it says they're caught off guard, they can't oh. act or respond for a few so, seconds. So yeah, that takes place after the exchange. So that yes. would happen now they become stunned. Yes. yes. So now they're stunned, so they're not gonna get to act this for this exchange. Cool. Um, so we'll actually say, for this instance, it's no longer an exchange. You guys have beaten them basically. Ah, because nice. at this point, well, they're because they're unable to act, therefore they're unable to defend themselves within this Exchange, so right. you're able to take them out. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, how do you want to do that? Because I imagine they're like at this point the vines have like made it up to their thighs, and they're. I would, I would like to blow, like gather air from below them and blow like their shirts over their heads. <laughs> yeah, so they like can't see the vines are holding them. They can't do anything. So they're walking around, just be like not even walking around. They're just like dangling. A yeah. couple of them fall over. Yeah, yeah the uh, vines are just gonna lift their feet up, so they they all kind of like fall over. Yeah. I would mime this, but Twitch would ban me. So. <laughs> um, but stay tuned for our late night special. <laughs> Sorry. That's on. <laughs> <laughs> um, I just thought thought of all the. G g g Giveaways for that one? I'm like, oh. <laughs> no, 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 no. PG-13. Yes, yes. PG-13, everybody. <laughs> we'll just censor out f so nobody looks that up. <laughs> yeah, That's thank fine. you. I'll Thanks. stop saying it. Uh, <laughs> so. <laughs> so. <laughs> because of the wall of flame, you still can't see what's happening in this fight because Aiden, A Adon, Adon yeah. has rather expertly divided you from that fight. <laughs> So, uh, they're on the same but, side but of the fire hear, as me. But we did hear, toast the emperor with the ch yeah. or granite chalice or whatever, <laughs> and we both went, oh, man. Come on. <laughs> yeah. You're both wincing? Yeah. Oh, okay. oh, it's the name of a real technique. <laughs> <laughs> do they yell it out when they do it? No. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They just punch someone in the chin. So <laughs> we're going to do the next, the next round of this exchange. <laughs> uh, determine what you're gonna do. I've determined what I'm doing. So you're past the fire. You jump I'm, over it. No, I'm attacking him. Yeah, but he there. The fire went between us and him. Right. And you said you leapt. So okay. So then yes. Yeah, so yes. yes. My technique did so allow me to I'm leap protected. through flames. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Uh, I'll be fine. <laughs> I've already decided on what I'm doing. I bet you have. Yes, indeed. And fun. Uh, By the way, uh, for anybody at playing the home game, uh, this bad its name, in fact, means uh, exquisite scent or fine perfume. Aww. Yeah. How, how does he smell? Good. 
Oh yeah, you're close. Good. Oh, weird. real good. Yeah. That's weird. <laughs> I don't like the feelings I'm feeling. Yeah. <laughs> this man is beautiful. <laughs> I gotta start a podcast. <laughs> Does it cost so me tall. an action within this exchange to just let my fire go? No. No. You can just drop it. Okay. So because it would only last that one round. Yeah. So now it's like. Okay, cool. It like, ima cinematically, imagine that as you're doing this next thing, it drops. Yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You Sick. get the energy. Yeah. yeah. Um, also, just have to say, if you're starting a podcast, it'd be Joe Rockgen. Oh. There you go. Yuck. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry, internet. Nobody and that's our broadcast that. for today. <laughs> Tune in next I'm week. Sorry. Not, not two stones, one fist. <laughs> oh, that's good too. Yeah, that's good. That's good. I don't like the implications. <laughs> hey, Tom, Tom Segura, come on. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Not early internet, I promise. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Oh, cool. Oh, 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 PG thirteen. Uh, yeah. I know what I'm doing. Okay. Cool. So you both know. <laughs> yeah. Cool, so we'll all reveal it at the same, well, I reveal it first. Advance and attack. Ad advance and attack. Advance and attack. <laughs> Fantastic, so we're all Sounds gonna do good. that at the same time. You guys have to roll, I don't. Um, Cause I'm better. No. Uh, can you both roll for me, please? Uh, and this is with passion, right? Yep. Pray for me. Mm -hmm. Pray for Morbo. Nobody prays on me. Yeah. I, I, I see a bad one. No, 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 this is, this is an eight. Okay. Oh, but I have a minus oh, yeah. one. It's a, so it's a hit, it's just a weak hit. Seven. Okay, seven. No. And con? <laughs> um, I rolled 12 again. Whoops. Nice. Fantastic. Yeah. So, tell me what you guys are doing, because this is all going to happen simultaneously, um, and we'll work out what that looks like. So, what are you doing? Uh, I am... Uh, dropping the wall of flame, and as it as it starts to descend, you see me jumping through it and just launching a fireball at his, at, at this guy. I don't know his name. Okay, like center of mass. Uh, yeah. Okay, cool. Yeah. Um, and this is strike. Or are you just? I'm strike? striking. Yes. So forcing them to fatigue or force mark balance. two fatigue, mark a condition, or shift their balance away from center. Their choice. Mark one fatigue instead. to instead choose to hammer them with your blows. Oh, oh. I have to mark a fatigue for that. Sorry. Uh, Do you want to hammer them with blows? Forcing them. Yeah, to mark two fatigue. So yeah. that forces them to mark two fatigue? Maybe, yes, so I'm gonna mark one fatigue to make them mark two. And that's, but that's it, right? Yeah. Cool, so you fly through, hit them. And the blow connects, and uh, it's a flurry of blow, blows, right? Oh, I guess Hammering. so. So, so you're slamming all those home, and as that's happening, um, yeah. So uh, with the twelve roll, you, you said I get to do like a combo of things, a potential combo. You totally. Things? That's two, one of your options. Two, two mastered or basics, or one know, practice learn? technique. Yeah. Yeah, uh, oh, yeah, you can do a practice. Right. Um, right, so I would like to do, um, I, I would like to use a, a, a technique on the card and one of my uh, b b basic character moves, if I could. Okay. Um, so I see him get angry. Uh, it's marked as basic, not learned or practiced? Um, it's it's one of these moves here, actually. Okay, yeah, perfect. Does that work? Yeah. Um, it's uh, uh, fueled by anger. Okay. Um, so I mark angry. Ooh. Okay. Uh, to use uh, in a traditional basic or master technique when I advance and attack, even on a miss. Uh, and then uh, while angry is marked, which <laughs> I will hear, um, I mark, uh, uh, I take one, I take plus one on going to intimidate. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. Yeah. Um, but you're cool. also and striking. what are you also doing? Because this gives you another thing you can do. Yeah. Um, you have two things you can do now. You've pooled. Um, right. So um, so so here. I would like to <laughs> I would like to pressure. Okay. And then overpower. Okay. So so um, overpower is on my 
sheet, but I'll and you get a, first. And you get a benefit to intimidate right now. Yeah. So are you intimidating? Yes. Cool. So that means, so which approach are you choosing that this person can't do? Um, let's see. I'm like, uh, I haven't actually seen his fighting style yet, so I don't know what he can't do, uh, but I know what I can do. So like, like, um, I guess like for flavor, it's like with like every like jab, jab, I bring up a fist of stone with like calculated like steps and then like, like hit him hard and then jab, jab and then hit him hard again. So you're trying to, so which approach can't he do anything? Oh yeah. Oh, oh, oh sorry, yeah. sorry, sorry. Um, evade and observe, defend. I, I would assume based on your description, evade and observe because yeah. there's nowhere he can yeah. go. I don't, right? I don't, yeah. I want him to be overwhelmed. Yeah, so. Okay, Focus and then it. the other one was the, um, uh, yeah, the what was over, overwhelm? Yeah, uh, 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 overpower. Overpower. Uh, which is, um, I, it's m m m m m mastered for me. Uh, throw a punch with all your weight behind it. I mark three f f f fatigue to inflict stunned on it. That'll fill you up with fatigue, right? No, I have one left after that. Okay, yeah. cool. Um, so, and it, Repeat what it does again. Sorry, that was my bad. Inflict uh, stunned. Inflict stunned. To, to right. inflict stunned, yes. Fantastic. Well, that's perfect. Okay, so this is going to work out really well. Oh, no. For who? You'll see. Great. So <laughs> For the story. <laughs> you two never before worked together. You guys were enemies before. You two work in perfect concert. And there's a little awkwardness. You're bumping into each other a little bit. But you both can't help but notice that after the first bump, you're moving around each other. You're actually working together in this a little bit. And it's making it so he can't go anywhere. So in frustration, he plants one foot and goes, enough, and kicks. And his foot hits both of you, because again, dude's big. It hits both of you and you are going to Take two fatigue. Oh! Um, and you will either be pushed to a new position of my choice, or mark two f two more fatigue. Are you fine being moved? Because that or I'm at full. So fatigue. if I mark that two fatigue on top of the three fatigue I gave him myself, what's happening? You're not fighting anymore. Okay. You're You're down. Yeah. Damn. That, that, right in the solar plexus for you. <laughs> yeah. So I'm imagining like, boom, like he's hit all that, goes enough, hits you. You fly backwards, like just, <gasps> you're both, are you full of fatigue too? Nope. No? Nope. Okay, because this would have been a total of four fatigue almost. Uh, if, no, I'm, if getting, I'm getting repositioned. Okay, so. cool. You got the right. two, so you are full. Yes. Cool. Did I get off my stunned on him? You did, but it will occur after. Yeah. Okay. Because this Right, because nice. this is all happening at once. After he does that, and you slide backwards. Yeah. He crumples to one knee. He like weakly reaches for his whip and just shakes his head and puts his hand down. And his men you can finally see, because the fire is down, they're defeated, he's defeated. And he goes. <sighs> at least, at least I got one of you. <laughs> He'll be fine. rest of you are standing around him at this point. You've defeated them. The villagers kind of start to come out of their homes to see this. Have you guys done anything to like tie up the other bandits or anything? Yeah, I think so. I think with like the, the vines in their shirt, like yeah, they they're, can't. They're still being held. Okay, cool. They're, yeah, they're, they're just, yeah. You their oh, bellies like, exposed. Them, like, yeah, we <laughs> hockeyed them. Okay. Yeah. Cool. Um, but yeah, so they're, they're down and then I think I, we're approaching you and these these two. Okay, so yes. I will now not full of fatigue, not in a good place to continue. This exchange is over. Mm. Everybody, by the way, mark one um, growth. Growth. Six. I don't want to hear another 
name. What's yours? Fen Fang. It's a stupid <laughs> name. <laughs> what do you want? You want our territory? We just want you to leave these nice people alone. Yes. I'd like your whip, please. <coughs> what? Give me your whip. You heard her. Give her your whip. Why do you want his whip? It doesn't matter. It's a pretty cool whip. Thanks. We could go, though. Wait. Do you have any food? <laughs> I'm, uh, yeah. Got a big bag back there. We'll, we'll take one of those, too. Yeah, thanks. Okay. Yeah. Gets up. Can I take my boys? Can we leave? Where are you going? My river doesn't have you. This domain <coughs> is now under the protection of the Eternal Mountain. Kick rocks <laughs> before I do. He's not doing too good, is he? I'll be fine. <coughs> Those renders are strong. Fine. All right. Saved a village. We're out of here. Wait. What? What are you gonna do to fix the other village? The one you burned? You can see in his head being like, I should just leave. I should just leave. They're giving me more things to do. Yeah. <laughs> I didn't know we were gonna give them homework. Homework's important. Do you want us to fix the other village? Yeah. Yeah. Or, I'm not gonna ask or what, I know what. Eternal Mountain. <coughs> Eternal Mountain. And give him medical attention. He is like, he um, looks right at you. I'm fine. Like water bending colors, right? Medical attention or something? No, I don't know how to heal. Oh. I say, I'm fine. And I have to like pull up a slab of earth to like lean on. No, you try. Oh. You try and it's like, yeah. Like you get it like a, like a, like a plinth. Just, just. Can Orla pick him up? <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah, scruff of the neck, that's right. <laughs> and the guy goes, you know, I'm just... And he looks past you. We're gonna go fix that village. And walks off. Yeah. In the direction of the other village. And you hear behind you. Oh, I'm at the slow clap. This is so bad. Why? And you see the airbending master. You all did very well. A little bit more direct than I would have done, but you got it done and you got them to repair the other village. I'll keep someone here to keep an eye on them. Mm. Yeah, I mean, they might just need work. Yeah, it's a good point. See what I can do. They're brigands, who cares what they need? I mean, they don't have to be. Maybe give them a chance to do something honest. With that, I may like, that like really affects her. She's like, yeah. I mean, they're willing to build stuff that they burned down just because they're scared, but maybe instead of intimidating people, if they were to, you know, get to have a decent living. Do you think they would have even thought to do that without you correcting them though? I don't know. No one's all bad. Hey, Aidan. Can you put set that on fire for me? The whip? Yeah. No problem. And then for the first time, I my smile's a little bit, but it's like very small. Okay. Okay. You two worked together surprisingly well, despite what, um, well, yeah. despite what I thought. Um, well, you can't go anywhere now. <sighs> Kondai Lee. I did something today I swore to never do again. I didn't want to use my firebending to hurt anyone ever again. 
because I'm really sorry about what happened to you. But honestly, seeing you stand up to those guys, it made me realize that maybe I can make a difference. Good for you. Are you trying to affect him? Um, like appeal to him, basically. Yeah. So what are your two? What's what are your two principles again? Oh, I'm trying to shift him towards character. I'm trying to shift his balance. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So. I didn't realize. Yeah. No, <laughs> that's why I. That's why I asked. I didn't even this know I was important. doing it. <laughs> so, in that instance, where you are trying to call someone out, effectively. Mm. Um, you were going to roll two dice for me. Okay. <coughs> you were calling him towards care, towards a connection. Uh, what am I rolling with? Uh, you were rolling with, with nothing, just a pure roll. 10. Okay. Strong hit. So, you are called to either shift that or mark a condition. Your choice. Uh, I will. Oh, sorry, either like shift my b b balance, balance towards or... care or mark a condition. Uh, I'll shift my b b b b balance. What does this look like for Khan? Um, confusion? Because <laughs> he's like. I demand an apology. I just apologize. From your father. Um, when? I don't know. I don't care. But I'm not going to let you out of my sight until it happens. Okay. Um, I like I... your animal. More or less great. Uh... <laughs> Look. You could try and get that. I will, I will work on that. I don't see him doing it. I'm not going home. They don't know I'm gone. You ran away? Mm hmm? Wherever you all decide to go, I have ways of reaching you. As is the Avatar, now that, he know, now that they know you. If you are called to gather together again, will you? I don't really have anywhere else to go. Yeah. Guys, I didn't know what I was doing here. And in my village, when you turn 13, you go and spend a year away. And everybody else just gets sent to another one of the islands. And I got sent here. Eco is my dad's name? Actually decided before the game. <laughs> so I think that this is where I'm supposed to be. So I still don't really know what's going on, but you have a giant monkey and there's a cool bromance happening here. And I don't know what's going on with you, but I do like that you like to burn whips. So, um, yeah, I'm gonna stick this one out. I mean, you're not gonna let me out of your sight. You guys don't have anywhere else to go. I don't wanna go home. Sounds like we might already be together. Then you're together. I can't bend Earth right, right now. I'm still like, Ugh. So I like scoop up Earth and sand uh, in, into my, my hand. Oh. Oh, I thought you were doing an earthbend. And they all put their, do you all, do you all put your hands in? Yeah, I don't know what we're doing. I don't know what we're doing either. Until next time, the earth underneath our feet binds us all. Ah, ah, the fire with 
then us will guide us. I don't know any group cheers. I'm hungry. I've got mangoes. Good enough. All right, Let's have fine. Mangoes. Let's have mangoes. <laughs> and with that, you. <laughs> All together, alive. you spend some time, you learn the ins and outs of each other and who you are, what you want from life, what you're looking for. And for the next 10 years, a full decade, though you journey away from each other and come back reuniting here and there, for most of those 10 years, when you see each other again, you greet each other's friends. And that's where we're gonna end today's episode. Ah! Next episode, we'll be picking up 10 years later to see exactly how the world and our heroes have changed. So, I would like to thank everybody for tuning in, because everybody did Thank you very much for showing up and watching. Uh, the performances on display here were incredible. Everybody did such a good job. Um, I'm gonna go around the circle. We're gonna go the opposite direction this time. Say your name, where they can, where people can find you next, what you do. <laughs> here next Let's week. Let's go. Uh, also, we'll, draw, we'll also draw a winner in chat on Twitch of yeah. the book. Yes, Ooh, yes winner yes. in chat. Okay, uh, my name is Alan Williams. Uh, I work here at uh, Quest Questline, uh, and you can find me here. I'm, I'm a part of a lot of uh, uh, Twitch streams as an actual play player. S some sometimes in the hot seat as a game master. Um, yeah, so come back every t t Tuesday and see what 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 we have cooking for you next. Yeah, um, I'm Trevor Gemma. I'm at Grave Mortem on socials and on Twitch. Uh, and I do my own streams there as well, as well as here at Questline. Uh, you can find uh, a bunch of all of us here, <laughs> either on Twitch or on YouTube. Check us out on YouTube for all of our library of amazing stuff we've done over the last few years. Um, and yeah, we'll be doing this here. We've got also something very cool coming up. Uh, more info for that soon. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Hi, I'm Chris Murdoch. Uh, you can also find me here. I make a lot of the costumes at the company and I'm starting to play a little bit more often. You can find me on socials at Chris, M-Y-R-D-O-C-K. And every once in a while you can find me doing circus, but it's only in Vancouver. <laughs> no uh, more touring. <laughs> I'm Cheyenne Rouleau. Um, you can find me here. I work here as a performer and a writer and I do different games and stuff and outside of here, you can find me on Instagram at Shinanigans. You can see me on Paramount Plus's Grace the Rise of Pink Ladies. Uh, you can see me on Netflix. Um, I am an actor and I'm all around and you can find me that way. <laughs> <laughs> but don't look for me. Yeah. <laughs> and if you do, she has a full head of hair. Yeah. <laughs> you we swear. Said you were <laughs> I totally you could totally have. Yeah. Said you were someone yeah. Um, so before I get to myself, Telling you who I am. I just want to say that uh, Queen Zombine, aka Lily, is our winner. Yeah! Yeah! Awesome! Yeah! Congratulations. Couldn't have gone to a nicer person. <laughs> this will be on its way to you. So look forward to that. Sweet. We rigged it because you gave us cookies. Yeah, right. <laughs> that's not true. That's, that's, not, not, that's, true. Not, that's true. not true. That's, that's not true. That's not true. That's true. That's true. That's true. done through stream elements, it was a completely <laughs> random draw. Yeah, wow. <laughs> We're already having boat rigging contests here. Okay, let's calm down. Um, we, uh, okay. I am Petra Skelton. Um, with that out of the way, wow, just drag me right into controversy. <laughs> I don't no, even. No. There, there is no vote stacking in Bossing Say. There you go. <laughs> there is no Bossing Say. <laughs> um, I'm Petra Skelton. Uh, I don't even work here. Um, uh, I work with Questline sometimes. I'm going to be, I'm in running this. Yeah. I'm going to be in another game. Uh, I've been in other games in the past. Who knows? You want to see me more? Please tell them. That'd be great. <laughs> uh, because I like working. Pays yeah. my bills. It's always good. Um, you can find me on itch.io, uh, Kofi, I tend to do a lot of writing, 
I work in the AP space, but um, uh, predominantly I do writing and game design. So on itch.io you can find many different zines. A lot of them are trans rights and trans fights oriented. So look at some of those. And uh, I've written for a number of other like RPG supplements and the like. Otherwise, oh, you can also find me as Pre-Apocalypse on social media. Uh, I would love to see what you thought of this game. Tell us if you liked it. That'd be great. Um, yeah, I think that's everything. Yeah. Uh, I would. I. I want to thank the entire team here at Questline. Everybody absolutely killed it. I said it in the first half, but Tim and Chelsea utterly just blew my mind with this. And I have um, so much hair. Yeah, <laughs> yes. like really the, the hair and makeup team, Lala and... Um, Sarah Elizabeth. Why am I Sarah blanking? Elizabeth. Sarah Elizabeth, um, Murdoch and Ash, like in costumes, every single person in this team. Julian with the Pie Show board. Oh Ash. yeah, right. That thing's so cool. Julian, Julian LeClerc, absolutely blowing me out of the water with this. We suggested like, oh, maybe we should do some 3D print and you just made it. So like, this is incredible. It's beautiful. This is an amazing collective that creates some amazing works. There are so many actual plays to enjoy from so many different ways of running. And I encourage you to look through the entire library. There's even a couple that I ran. I don't usually run PG-13, guys. Yeah. I usually You'll run see. Vampire. And like, it's a, uh, if Body you watch- Body horror exclusivity. Yeah. <laughs> so, I, this is a new thing for me, but I'm having fun. I hope you did too. Thank you so much for tuning in. Our next episode will be the same time next Tuesday when we pick up with these characters to see what wonderful adventures they get into next. Will I have hair? We don't know. Yeah. <laughs> will I? <laughs> I won't. <laughs> <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning Stay in. Stay tuned for the You race. are the reason we do this. Thank you so much. <laughs> Ciao.